In this short video clip, I will explain how to use phase diagrams for non-homogeneous difference equations. You know that difference equations do describe the relationship between the value of a dynamic variable in one period and the value of that same variable in the next period. And we're going to see how we can use a diagrammatic approach to understand how the dynamics of such a variable work. So here are two phase diagrams and two different difference equations here. Let's start with the one on the left hand side. xt plus 1 is equal to 0 0.9 plus 0.7 xt. So this is a non-homogeneous difference equation because we are having this constant term in here. So this difference equation explains how xt relates to xt plus 1 and hence we are having xt on the horizontal axis and xt plus 1 on the vertical axis. And the next thing you need to do is you need to represent this difference equation diagrammatically and this is just a linear relationship. So let's say, uh, let's say this one here is 0.9 and then we have a slope of 0.7 so that's flatter than the 45 degree line. It's perhaps something like this slope. Okay, so this is uh, this is uh, xt plus one is equal to 0.9 plus 0.7 times xt. That's the blue line here. So let's say we start somewhere here, and again the process will be exactly the same, irrespective. Of where you start. So if that's our initial value we will be asking the difference equation what will be the period in the next value. So we're going up here to our difference equation and we're going across to the vertical axis. So the difference equation tells us that at time 1 if this is where we start at time 0 this is where we're going to be at time 1. So what we next want to do is we want to use the same diagram to explain if in time 1 we are at x1, where are we going to be in time 2? So, well, basically, we need to transcribe this value across to the horizontal axis. We'll use the 45 degree line for this. So, here is going to be x1. So, so far, we moved this way here. So, now we're going to ask our difference equation if we are here at time 1. Where are we going to be at time 2? We'll go up to our difference equation and go across. So this is going to be x2. And now we want to move one step further on. So we need to transcribe that to the horizontal axis. We'll do that via the 45 degree line. So here we're going to be at x2. Then we're going to ask where are we going to be in x at time 3. So we go to the difference equation, the blue line and we go across here. So this is going to be x3 and then so we moved like this, like this so far and now we are here. We translate that back via the 45 degree line onto the horizontal axis that is x3 and again we ask where are we going to be and you can see what's going on here is that we will be moving to this point the equilibrium point. Okay, and you may ask, uh, okay, at what value is that actually? And it turns out uh, that's going to be 0 0.9 divided by 1 minus 0 0.7. Okay, so that's 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.3, which is equal to 3. So that value here actually turns out to be 3. Okay, that's where we are moving to. It's a stable process going to an equilibrium. What happens if we look at this process here? I'm going to use a different color. Uh, I'm going to use green for this one. Um, our difference equation is 2 minus 0 0.5. So the setup is exactly the same. Non-homogeneous, we have a constant. So let's draw that. Let me, uh, da, da, da. Let me pretend. So it's a we have a different scale here. Let me say 2 is here. 0.5, so that's 
negative negative 0.5 so it's negative but flattish so let's say it's a it's a little bit like this okay so that's that is xt plus 1 is equal to 2 minus 0.5 xt that's our difference equation that will tell us how we how we move okay so let's say we are starting here at x0 so we're asking our difference equation where are we going to be at time 1 we're going to be here okay that's going to be our x1 and then let's say okay that, that was good to know what about time 2 where are we going to be so we need to translate that x1 to the horizontal axis we use the 45 degree line to translate this so here's x1 now what does the difference equation tell us where we're we going to be the next period tells us we're going to be we're going to be here okay at this point that's going to be x2 and actually i want to use a different color da, da, da. Uh, color just a lighter green let me use this green okay so where have we moved so far we moved to this point here okay this is where we ended up so now we want to know where are we going to be in the next period so again we need to translate that x2 over to the horizontal axis so here's our x2 and now we are asking the difference equation where we are going to end up so we are going to our difference equation we're here we're going across and we're going to end up at this value so here's going to be x3 and so now we need to transpose that again to the to the axis over there and we use the 45 degree line and that is going to be here x3 and uh, perhaps that was slightly light so let me just do this with red now to make it very clear so let's see how we are moving how we are moving across here okay so here's where we started and we're going we're going here okay then we're going here and here and here and here so this is going to be the process our x variable takes and it's a what we call a cyclical process okay and that's perhaps you can already see here that phase diagram explains how we call it cyclical but you can also look down here because i transcribed all the times over here from x naught we're going to x1 then we are going to x2 then we are going to x3 and turns out we will be going like this okay and we will end up in this equilibrium in this equilibrium point okay and where is that point going to be well it's going to be 2 over 1 minus minus 0 0.5 so that's going to be 2 over 1.5 okay that's going to be this point here to this point or here that is going to be 2 over 1.5 so i hope that illustrates how we're going to use phase diagrams to evaluate the dynamics of a process described by a difference equation of the non-homogeneous type